In this you what? Greatly rejoice, or what? That now for a little while you may have had to suffer griefs and all kinds of trial. Everybody underline what? A little while. A little while. A little while. That was last year. That was last year. It was, seemed like forever, wasn't it? It seemed, like, it seemed like forever. And some of us are still going through some things now. Some of you are still going through some things now, but it's okay. Now, for a little while, you may have what? To suffer griefs of all, in all kinds of trials. It is a trial. Beloved, think it not strange concerning these fiery trials that are going to try you as though some strange thing has happened to you. This is also Peter talking. But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of what? Christ's suffering. Tell somebody, don't panic. It's just a what? It's just a test. You'll get through it, all right? Verse 7 says, these have come so that what? Your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire. In other words, gold will, can ultimately perish even though it's valuable. Your faith is more valuable than gold. May be proved genuine and may, here's where I want to go, and may what? Result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. And that's the point where I want to bring the text for today for the little word I want to give for you today. It says, your faith. It talks about the fact that it may be proved genuine and may result in what? Praise. The subject for today's lesson is, it ends with a praise. It ends. No matter what happens this year, no matter what you go through, and no matter what you face this year, it will end with you praising God. Somebody didn't hear what I just said. I, I, I'm trying to give it to you the best way. It will end. It will end. I told you what my assignment is in the beginning. My assignment is to wrap up. Got it? My assignment is to teach you. All right? All right? I want you to get this. It will end. And I don't want you to lose this message. Because this message is going to have to carry you all year. Because there are going to be some trials that will come. Just because we're out of 2011 don't mean some stuff ain't going to happen in 2012. You're crazy if you think that. No, 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 no. It's just the way you deal with it and the attitude you have towards it will be different. Some of the same things are going to face you, but you're going to handle them differently. You got to know that whatever I'm dealing with right now, that this is not the end. The Bible says it results in praise unto God, glory and honor. It will result in that. Amen. How many of you write little notes down? If you write notes down, write down, write down Revelation chapter 21, where they end up praising Jesus and saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power to the Lord our God. It, it, it's there. It talks about after the, the, the dragon or the devil has been thrown into hell, at the end of the day, everything ends with a praise. Everything ends with God being glorified. Now, let me show you how it's going, why it's going to end with a praise. It ends with the praise because God is going to do some things which are praiseworthy. Okay, okay. In other words, you're going, you're going to want to praise God by the time God finishes doing what he's going to do for you this year. You, are you still with me? It, it's not just a matter of you just saying, I'm going to praise God. No, by the time the year is over, God will have done so much for you that all you want to do is praise him and give him the glory and give him the honor. Now, I don't care what happens in, in the meantime. Everybody say in the meantime. I'm prophesying to you right now as the angel of this house that when this year is over, you're going to be saying, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I glorify you. You better grab that and put it in your bosom and seal it with a praise right now because this is about all I'm going to tell you. It will end with a praise. Whatever it is, whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, and even whatever you're trying to achieve, every tear will be wiped away from your eyes and God, my God, you will end up giving God the glory Glory. Say, Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to praise you. I want to glorify you. I don't even know where this came from. I don't know how I got here. I don't know what it is, but I thank you for it. I didn't know I was going to make it, but I knew that if I trust you, if I believe you, that my trials would end up in a praise. Now, if you want to end with a praise, you better start with one. Y'all ought to know me by now. I'm not just one of them praise, try to get you to dance preachers. It's not what I am. I'm not trying to get you to dance, but I'm trying to get something in your gut. 
And you better pay attention to what I'm telling you. Pay, pay close attention to what I'm telling you. You're going to go through some trials. Everybody say amen. amen. But it will end with you praising God. I'm telling you the end of the story. Amen. I don't want you to be ignorant. The word of God does not want you to be ignorant. Peter does not want you to be ignorant concerning what God is going to do in your life. Because if you help me, Holy Ghost, because if you don't have this word that I'm giving you right now, some stuff's going to happen next week. Some stuff's going to happen next month. Some things are going to happen this summer that you're not going to understand. But if you know this word now and you hold on to it, when that stuff comes, you say, but it is with a praise. No matter what's going on in the story right now, no matter how bad the movie is right now, at the end, the good guys win. It doesn't matter how bad it gets, no matter who dies, what goes on, what falls apart, how much money you lose, what job you lose, who walks out, who likes you, who doesn't like you, who talks about you, it does not matter. At the end of the day, God will be glorified and you will be blessed. It will end with the praise. I don't care what the devil says. I don't care what he does. It will end. When it is, it will end with me saying, Lord, I thank you. God, I glorify you. God, I exalt you. Am I talking to anybody today? I'm coming out. Touch up my sin. I'm coming out with a praise. I'm coming out glorifying God. I'm coming out after you have suffered a while. Then he'll settle you, establish you, and make you perfect. Why? Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. I feel my help coming. Why? Because I'm more than a conqueror. I will end with a praise. No matter what the devil says, if I go down, I go down with a praise. When I come up, I come up with a praise. No matter what happens, I give God the glory.